the meat that you're hiring. That need is also felt in Augusta. Because of the impact that COVID has had on us, there is a need for a lot of our positions. And so we are an employer of choice and we look forward to uh, bringing on some wonderful people in uh, the Augusta area. At the Augusta Youth Development Campus, many attended the job fair resumes in hand hoping to land the job that pays just over $30,000. We are doing on-site interviews, and hopefully we would like to make contingent offers to uh, the people in the Augusta area. The training program is five weeks long. For retired military with honorable discharge, the Department of Juvenile Justice is offering a 10% salary incentive. And we are hiring for various positions. We have uh, juvenile correctional officers, we're hiring for food service workers, housekeeping. If you weren't able to make it out to the job fair, but you're interested in a career in the Department of Juvenile Justice, I'll have more information in this story on our website. In Augusta, Mary Calkins, WJBS News Channel 6. Work is wrapping up on Augusta's proposed over the next couple days, but great warming trend headed our way as well. Your forecast in just a bit. All right, Tim, thank you. A jury is in place in Brunswick in the trial of three men charged in the death of Ahmaud Arbery, but there is controversy over the makeup of that jury. There is one black juror, and there are 11 white jurors. Judge Timothy Walmsley agreed with prosecutors' objections concerning the jury, but said that everyone had a chance to strike jurors based on race or other reasons during the selection process. So the panel is in place, and the court's going to hear motions today before opening statements start tomorrow. This court has found that there appears to be uh, intentional uh, discrimination in the panel. Like on the real, I mean, I just can't put it into words. I was very shocked that we only had one black African American man, and I mean, that was devastating. Greg McMichael and his son Travis, along with Roddy Bryan, all accused of killing 25 year old Ahmaud Arbery while he was going for a run in their neighborhood. Again, opening statements expected to start tomorrow. A deadly shooting investigation underway in Richmond County. The shooting happened just after 8 last night on Tuttle Street in Harrisburg. When deputies got there, they said they found 29 year old Frederick Nelson dead with at least one gunshot wound. An autopsy has been scheduled. No suspects in that case yet. Employers in South Carolina. The current balance in the state's insurance trust fund, they say, does cover things in case there's another economic downturn. Christmas is now about 50 days away, but you can start ringing in the holidays this weekend in downtown Augusta. On Sunday, the Holiday Market is going to be back at the 5th Street Marina. It'll be every Sunday right there on the river through December 19th. It'll open at noon and close at 4. All sorts of great things to do down there. Vendors, boat cruises chance for people to help nonprofits all at the holiday market we didn't do one this last year but we did one the year before and we had a really good response we had 30 plus vendors every week that was set up we had santa that was here santa won't be here this year with covid we're gonna you know scale it back a little bit with that christian says there will be social distancing at the holiday market if you're shopping for colleges tonight there's a big event to help you out Hosted by SRNS, it's the annual CSRA College Night, the James Brown Arena, typically packed for that one, but it's going to be virtual this year. And it's happening right now. Representatives with more than 70 colleges and universities, they're going to give out $15,000 in scholarships. It's free, and again, it's on your computer until 8.30. We can link you to it at WJBF.com. And there is sad news to bring you tonight. Former Augusta City Councilman, and Commissioner Reverend Johnny Hatney has died. Hatney was beloved in this town, the senior pastor at Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church, a big, big loss, no question about it. And all of our prayers going to his sweet family, including his daughter, Tara. Tara's a producer here at News Channel 6. She's a member of our family. No funeral arrangements for Reverend Hatney yet, but we'll let you know as soon as that information comes in. Rest in peace, Johnny Hatney. We'll be right back.